Hey guys, it's Eileen from Basic Blog Tips. I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects, and that's Twitter. And Twitter has a service called Paperly, which I'm sure most of you are familiar with already. I was really pleased to find out that Paperly has made some changes, and there are some of the features that I really wanted to see, and I'm sure you'll enjoy them too. So let's go over four changes to Paperly. The first one I want to talk about is your publisher profile. In this little section, it tells a little bit about you, what your name is, and it shows your Twitter avatar, and it just gives the little statistics about the paper, how many people are subscribing to it, and how many times it's been viewed. That's a cool thing to have so that no matter what your paper is called, doesn't have to be called the Eileen Smith Daily. Say you want to change that name, and by the way, you can change that name. That's been that way for a while. All I have to do is click that, make your changes. Make sure you hit submit. And now, see that's the Eileen Daily now. But if it wasn't the Eileen Daily, this gives you a little bit of branding here by uh, displaying your name and your Twitter avatar. Number two, and this is one of my favorites, you now have editorial control. See the story here? This is your featured story. I like this story, but let's say I want to remove that story from my headlines. Now the next story in line became the headline. But we don't really want that one either. Let's try this one. I like this one because I know it's coming from my blog. You have three choices. Make it the featured article, remove it from the headlines altogether, or just delete it from your paperly. <laughs> Woohoo! I've been wanting that change for a while. So let's make this the feature article. Great. Okay, the third change is the article tracker. Now, check this feature out. I love how this does. It grabs the article, the image from the article, a few sentences from the beginning of it, relevant publishers covering the article. And here, this was tweeted by a few people that I didn't realize had tweeted it. So that's a nice discovery feature right there. Tells you the source of the article and what blog it came from. Here's other paperlies that featured this article. That's nice to see too. And relevant news spotters of this article. Then it gives you more articles from the source. So it's a very well-rounded overview of the article and its impact across Twitter. Okay, so the fourth update I want to talk to you about is the paper settings. You go into the paper settings, and this is something that was familiar to what we used to see before. These are the list of all the papers that you have, whether you want it to be daily, or you can have morning and evening editions, or weekly edition. Your time zone, all of that content you can add more than one source for your paperly now you can add another twitter user another twitter list a hashtag a keyword in twitter or a keyword in facebook i know you facebook people want to get in on a deal you only can use keywords for facebook not users not facebook pages or any of that but remember you can always delete stories from the paperly. So if it pulls in something from Facebook that you don't like, you just get rid of it. Now this is just, do you want to tweet it automatically? I really don't ever tweet mine automatically. I like to come in, take a look at them, especially now that we know we can move things around. I suggest you come in, take a look at it, and then decide whether you want to tweet it out or not. Now, appearance, another way you can add branding to your paperly. You can now upload a background image and you can see here the uh, pixel size is 1280 by 
800 for your background of your paperly. Okay, Tweeps, I can't wait to see the awesome new paperlies you guys are going to be coming out with now. Thanks so much for joining me for this overview of the new features of Paperly. Hey, when you get a chance, make sure you subscribe to the Miss Eileen Speaks YouTube channel and make sure you come back and visit blog again. That's basic blog tips. Okay, thanks so much for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.